way in the world today takes everything you got Taking a break from all your worries, it sure would help a lot Ooh, wouldn't you like to get away? <laughs> Sometimes you wanna go to episodics of the Blow Bam, bam, bam With Mark Tyler, Nick, and Mark Tim and <laughs> That's all I got. Some of Tim's co-workers don't know our names. <laughs> Sometimes Nick's picking his nose. <laughs> you want to go where everybody picks his Your nose. nose. <laughs> picks my own nose. <laughs> anyway, I've been watching Cheers on Netflix, guys. Yeah. God, it's a good show. I never really got into it. Uh, so good. What, what happened was I did it backwards. Like I, I started on Netflix with Kirsten, and we started on Frasier. Oh, oh, that was a good one. Fucking great show. Yeah. But everybody knows it's a uh, spinoff from Cheers. Right. He was introduced in the third season as Diane's love interest. Anyways, I'm going on and on. Um, <laughs> there so, were, uh, w- hold on. Weren't there three spinoffs from Cheers? I think just Frasier. No, there were multiple oh. spinoffs. Look, can you look that up? There that were multiple you, Cheers that spinoffs. Sounds familiar. Frasier was one. There was an, there, and I want to say there were two others. Well, Frasier stuck. There was another yeah. one I think that stuck. Woody Harrelson was um, probably in one of them. I'm guessing he was oh, a star man. in the eighties. That's a good- I feel like there were two camps. Oh, um, this is oh, what do you got there? Um, the Tortellis. Never heard of it. Was a spinoff. I don't know the character. Cheers was that know. popular. They had multiple spinoffs. Right. There's no you know equivalent what, today. You know what took over. For a brief amount of time, I feel like had the same popularity after I'm Cheers. On, I'm waiting on you to say what I'm reading right now. Go ahead. Was Wings. Uh, never got <laughs> exactly Was that the other what one? Says, I thought. Okay. It says related. It says related. Okay, yeah. So it was, it, was, it was a similar type comedy, similar characters, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. That was the one after um, Cheers After Cheers ended. What's going on? Well, apparently there was a crossover. Is that my microphone? No, it was my stand. Yeah, no, my headphones cut sound. out there. No. Um good. Uh, Wings and yeah. Saint Elsewhere had crossed. That was the that was the other Cheers. one that I was thinking. Crossovers, of. not spinoffs. Saint, no, but Tortellis was the first series to spin off from Cheers. So there uh, were two spinoffs. Featured Carla's ex husband Nick Tortelli. Oh, Nikki Tortelli, I know him mm-hmm. from the okay. show. Yeah. Canceled for after thirteen episodes. Yeah, Frazier went on ten. ten oh, listen, seasons. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> the Tortellis was canceled. 13 episodes in and drew protests for its stereotypical depictions of Italian Americans. Oh, that was wow, his old character. Then, 20 years later, The Sopranos fucking Jeez. cleans out. Yeah. <laughs> My it's a, God. It's a very difficult situation. But yeah, um, Cheers oh, after man. that ended, I feel like mm-hmm. everyone was in the Wings camp. Tony Shalhoub, mm-hmm. uh, Tim Daly. There, I mean, there was a it was a pretty good cast. I feel like um, uh, when... It, Last time Amber and I flew to Italy, uh, Wings was on the plane to watch like ten episodes of really? Wings, and I I think I watched all ten episodes of Wings. <laughs> was it good? Yeah. It's great. I see, love Wings. That's how I felt. Yeah, growing up, I'd see Frasier and I'd be like, "Oh, this looks boring." He's like super snobby or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I just it's never watched it. Yeah, I never watched it. Now, as an adult, I watch it. And I'm like, "Holy shit, this is one of the best sitcoms I've ever seen." Well, I mean, liked, he was supposed to be the like the, the prudish intellectual one or whatever. But, but his was, dad was like oh the my comic God. relief. No, he was like Frazier, the man. Frazier is such an unlikable character. Yeah, exactly. God, he's and awful. his dad's like the coolest dude ever. Yeah, with Martin, his dog. Listen, I did. His answer for everything is put your feet up on the recliner and have a yeah. beer. I like that. <laughs> I was into <laughs> Frazier. I was into Frazier when I was younger. I appreciated yeah. the show. Niles was great. Frazier. I don't great. think I understood it. But I thought I thought I should think it was funny. Does that make sense? I think I was on the same page as that because you and I are the same age, roughly. I, yeah, yeah, we're the you're same. You're a little age. younger than me, but yeah, but it, but same yeah, thing. Yeah, I, yeah. I I watched it and I had the same thought. The other one that I really really liked, and maybe that's what sort of formed me as a person. I loved Becker. I loved Becker. Uh, Doctor Becker. Yeah, I never got Ted into dancing. It. Yeah, mm, never. Got um, into it. Now, speaking of Ted Danson, when you I mentioned also like Cheers, the British chick in Fraser, obviously. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Daphne. Yeah, oh, yeah, she's um, something. 
She was something. Niles knows. Yeah. Um, <laughs> when you brought up Cheers, the first thing that popped into my head was, oh, yeah, Ted Danson and Whoopi Goldberg were a couple. That is the weirdest. No, they were just in that movie Making no, America. No, They were a couple? They were a couple. Look that shit up. Ted Danson and Whoopi Goldberg fuck? dated. Ted that Danson, is the weirdest at couple. at the height of his popularity, yes. dated a diminutive black Jew? <laughs> <laughs> what? Too much? Is Whoopi Goldberg <laughs> yeah, Jewish? Was, yeah, Goldberg. <laughs> oh my me? God, Tim! No, no seriously, I thought she, I thought she's she was, Jewish. I thought she was married to the wrestler. <clears throat> no, no, she's Mickey a, Rourke. Whoopi, <laughs> look it up. Whoopi Goldberg's a Jew. That's why she's a comedian, and that's why she's. Oh, that's why she's. A comedian? Oh, that's why she's a comedian. <laughs> that's why she's a comedian, guys. Okay. Yeah, I'm serious. Look it up. Here we go. The forgotten love between Whoopi Goldberg and Ted Danson. Told you, weird they, they, couple. That is a weirder couple than Tom Arnold and so, Roseanne, so in my opinion. First PG-13 movie I ever saw in the theater was Made in America, starring Ted Danson and Jew Whoopi Goldberg. I mean, Stop what, saying Jew Whoopi <laughs> Goldberg. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Is she not oh Jewish? God. I'm not saying I don't like them. They're fine. I get no problem with Jews. That's not. Oh it's my just, god. It's like saying the Italian Nick. Yeah. No. Oh, see. <laughs> it's not. It's not. I think you gotta wrong. say Nicky when you say it like that. Hey Italian Nicky. Yeah. <laughs> hey. 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 Manicotti. Stromboli. I'm, I'm very. I some garlic very bread. <laughs> I some garlic bread, Nicky. Very offended. <laughs> Yeah, so what's the verdict here? From 1992 to 94, they were the talk of the town until oh, sure. Two years fizzled out. That is a kind that, of long that way That was go. a typical ooh, Hollywood, ooh, ooh, ooh. let's promote this movie Let's not get thing. too political here, yeah, but yeah. this article says, oh, and along the way, he performed in blackface as an expression <laughs> of his love. You know what the problem was, though? Uh, uh, so. Soon after that, Whoopi ghosted him. So many... <sighs> <laughs> no, God. Sorry, guys. That was a bad one. So I'm many so... mixed signals. She was though, in ghost. back then. She was in ghost. Oh, 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 oh. oh. So many mixed signals, though, ah. because Ted Danson is allowed to put on blackface to profess his love. Right. But the the Tortellini show or whatever. Was to, yeah, whatever. That was that Tortellini's one was. Tortellini's would have been way. Better. Know, either way, yeah. That that one was too stereotypical. Uh, of Italian culture, mm-hmm. but whatever. So, what do you guys think is the best '80s sitcom? I don't know. That's a tough one. Cheers is pretty Nick, high up there. It's a little early for Nick. I think you guys are what two, three years older than him, and I'm two, three o- years older than you guys yeah. for the most part. How old yeah. are you, Tyler? Thirty-five. I'm gonna be thirty-seven next week. I'm turning thirty-four this year. Thirty this year. Okay. Um. For I don't me, know why we had to do that? Have we ever done yeah, that? No, I don't no think we so, haven't. No, but Let's but, mark that down. Yeah. But it's to kind of give everybody an idea of. Geez, yeah, there is a bit of a generational gap. I mean, in the you're court, like a you're like a proto millennial, right? I'm I, an actual. Millennial. I, I believe I'm a Gen Xer. You're on the you're on the, cusp. on the cusp. You're on the cusp. Um, you got when Mercury's in retrograde. Nick's, you could go either way. <laughs> Nick's a millennial. Mark is kind of a millennial. You're a little closer to me, somewhere yeah. in the middle. Yeah. But uh, it gives you an idea. I don't claim them. Like when I grew up. After the cartoons, MASH would come on. So to me, MASH is like a big 80s sitcom that like... Oh, but MASH are you talking about existed solely in the 80s? Yeah, like 80s sitcoms. MASH wasn't in the like 80s you, you though, would, right? No, it was. Because technically was Family it? Matters yeah. started in the 80s. But but it's a uh, 90s sitcom. Uh, like, you don't, that's yeah, what I'm saying. You don't I go agree. technically here. You go with what they're known for. Like, I know. Saved by the I know it 90s. too in my heart of hearts. Yeah, so to me, MASH is 80s. Cheers is 80s. What else? There's a few more. MASH is a fucking good show. Yeah. So to me, the best really sitcoms, good. there were so many sitcoms. Right. Until it got yeah. last, the last few seasons of MASH, it got a little preachy. Man, I'm saying Which growing. I thought it was preachy to begin with, but funny, and the last few seasons got like a little bit too serious. You know what? I have an answer, and it's it's only because this was pretty much the only sitcom I could watch in the 80s, Punky Brewster. That was good, but people oh. forget about like Growing Pains with that crazy no, I was religious ju- guy. No, I was literally just about to no, say Growing Pains. Have you ever seen Small Wonder? My sister loved it. The robot? The girl yeah. robot. The little 12-year-old yeah. girl robot that yeah. everybody wanted to hook up no. with. Oh, Punky. Yeah. Wait, what about the Cosby <laughs> show? The Cosby show? Yeah. 80s? Cosby show yeah, 80s? That's 80s. Yeah. yeah I that's like a, that one. Oh, that well, that good. has to be King then. You know? I think it has to be King. Scooby Doo 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 Doo
So Raven. <laughs> she's so, so Raven. <laughs> she is so Raven. God damn. She's so Raven. I saw. I saw. <laughs> you actually made I, Nick I, smile. I, I saw. Hold on. I saw Tyler. I saw Tyler process it. Then I saw the joke enter his head. And then I saw it come out. I saw him done with the sentence that you said. And then I saw him go, wait a second. That's so Raven. <laughs> Tag that on. You know, um... <laughs> I also miss um, Perfect Strangers with uh, <gasps> Bronson Balky. Pinchot. Br- oh, Balky Bartokamus. Yeah, yeah. Balky Bartokamus. <laughs> oh, you know what was that another? Was a good, that was funny. We was, watched that one on Friday night. Was this one? Because sure. in Lottery. Was this he was one, the original Borat. Yeah. Was this one 80s or was it 90s? I remember My Two Dads. You remember that one? Oh, no. I don't Man, know look that. up My Two Dads. That had, I want to say that had, not Karen, but... um. Who was the blonde in uh, in Step by Step? Suzanne Summers. No, not Suzanne. The girl. Oh, that was um uh uh fuck, what's his name? Paul um Riser. Yes, Paul, Paul Riser. Riser. And then there was like the beefy like biker looking dude who was the other dad. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you this: Do you guys Getting remember uh, eighty seven to ninety though? So not, not really oh, that's eighties. Do you yeah, guys get in nineties? Do you guys remember Blossom? Oh yeah, yeah of course. Do you remember Joey right. Lawrence? Yeah. His Whoa. catch line was, "Whoa, yeah, the right. laziest fucking catch, catch yeah, line." Yeah, but whoever ever was the like, writer on that Whoa. cleaned up. Oh, oh, uh, yeah. oh. Uh, speaking of catchphrases, um, go just go to YouTube sometime Done. and and Google um, whatever the kid's name was um, in uh, Boy Meets World. I like turtles. The kid with long hair, Ryder Strong, and a he, will him him yelling Feeny. There is. There is a YouTube video that's like 25 minutes <laughs> of Will just going, Feeney! Oh, the older Feeney! brother. The yeah. older brother, yeah. Yeah, whoever the older brother, whatever it is, the long-haired kid. So, so wait, remind me, was Feeney, needed Feeney, was Feeney the, the principal na- the, or was he the social studies he teacher? Was the he was the neighbor the, and the teacher. Yeah. Right, can you imagine living next to one of your teachers? Oh, hell no. Oh, Fucking man. hell. Well, you I lived with worst. my mother and she was my teacher. You were homeschooled? Years. <laughs> what the fuck? She no, she was my teacher at school. Oh, okay. That's Tyler's that's family, all right. They were uh, apocalyptic doomsday preppers. Right. Yeah, he's uh, he was raised on MREs. <laughs> uh, so I don't know if you guys know this, but it, uh, I was super surprised when I saw this. Did any of you guys see Cabin Fever? With um, no, the, yeah, the uh, the guy that it, shit. What am I thinking of here? Eli Roth? Was it Eli Roth? Yes, yeah. Eli Roth. And I remember when I watched that movie, um, the girl from Not Another Teen Movie. Okay. Who the was tits? the Yes. Oh, not Showed yet. him in Cabin Fever. But then when get, when Cabin Fever started, I was like, holy shit, that's Ryder Strong from Boy Meets World. <laughs> he cast him oh, in that yeah. movie. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did you guys ever whack it to Topanga? Why are you asking rhetorical questions? <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> <laughs> that one was not meant to be answered. It's just assumed we all have. Oh, yeah. Topanga. Topanga was, man. Wasn't she on, like, every Tiger Beat magazine, like, during uh, that that's time? The that's, only, <laughs> that's the only way they could get males to buy Tiger Beat. By, by the way, if you're going to put out a magazine like that, maybe don't put Beat as one of the words. <laughs> like, <laughs> just saying. Tiger beat. Yeah, I'm going to tiger beat my dick to this picture. Yeah, tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Will from Step by Step. Oh, my God. Dude, did you ever watch? Uh, so they brought back Boy Meets World, but it was Girl Meets World. Well, that's because they brought out yeah. Fuller House. That's how Olivia Daphne or mm-hmm. whatever her name is there. What is it? Olivia Page. That's what it was. Uh, that's how she got famous from all that. We talked. What about was it. Topanga Olivia Jade? Uh, Jade, yes. What was Topanga's name? Daniel All of them sound Fisher, like it could be porn Fisher, stars. Daniel Fisher. F- Topanga? Working yeah. On it, working Nick, on Nick's it. over there nodding silently yeah. in protest. Is that it? Yes. No, I was agreeing with him. It's <laughs> porn star name. Yeah, all of them. Olivia Page, Olivia Jade, Olivia... Yeah. What's her name? I don't know. Yeah, but that's that's what porn stars are doing now. They're making it sound like... Danielle the, Fischel. Fischel. I know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So Fisher. what are porn stars doing? They're doing this thing where their their names sound like real names, but it's still not their real name. Right. They're not doing anything anymore where it's like, the, where it's hey, like, I'm Teresa Zaharias. Something. I'm gonna rock your world. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Tim, you've had too many twisted <laughs> no, teas. No, what no. the fuck, I'm just man? Highlighting your point that they're taking real names that could sound like my mom. Who's that? Follower That's and Topanga. Liker. 
God damn. That is not Topanga. No. No, that's oh, not. That's not Topanga. <laughs> like, wait, Tyler, wait. you're showing us porn again. <laughs> <laughs> again? This is like the third episode. Yeah. yeah we get it. Go. You've got a you porn account. Oh, yeah. She's all she's right. Doing pretty well for her. Still looks I'd good. Say. Yeah. She's got those big old lips. <laughs> <laughs> that's. that's <laughs> okay. She got them big old lips. All right, let's put it hey. to the test here. Topanga or uh, or DJ from Fuller Wait, House. Wait, what about Daphne Ooh. from Frasier? Well, see, Topanga had the exotic thing going on. She did. She was kind of ethnic. Wait, what did you... No, s- hold on. Did she really, or is it just because her name was Topanga? And she had if collagen named, implants in her if lips. If they had named her yeah. Ashley Yeah, I guess her name show. is Danielle Fisher, so yeah. official, so it's not yeah. really... She's not really too exotic. So who she are we going exotic, with? though. But that is a good poll that we need to put out on Twitter. Topanga or DJ from Full House? Uh, what about Michelle? Michelle, Tim, you Tim. were like sixteen when that. <laughs> oh shit, that's right. Yeah, got guys. It was innocent times. Yeah. Now, uh, Stephanie, I was into Stephanie. She was about my age. Yeah. Turns yeah. out she was on meth. Do you yeah. hear about that? Uh, yes, I did. She's been married like twice, has three kids or something like that. Meth, and meth like, babies, yeah. all of them. Uh, so I remember watching a. <laughs> What are you looking at? What's a meth baby? It's a baby I, born on meth. Yeah. They're all wiry and energetic. You need Conce- to, hey, hey, you need pretty, to find this. Pretty self explanatory. Born with it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have you met Jackson? No need, to, no need to break that one down. Um, you need to look this up. I remember when I was younger, um, that was scrolling through, uh, scrolling through TV late at night, and there was a movie that was on that had, uh, Candace Cameron, and it also yeah. had, um, uh, Fred Sav. It also had Fred Savage, not Ben Savage. Who, by the way, they're brothers. Fred was. I, I used to think Fred was more famous. I think Ben is. No, you know Fred think? is no. The Wonder Years Boy is definitely Meets World was huge. Everyone knows the Wonder Years more than they know Boy Meets World. Nick, they would recognize Nick, Fred on. Savage. Nick, which do you know better? Boy Meets World. Well, the, generational. See it is. Okay, I didn't. I, wa- I didn't okay. watch any. That's of like the, saying, I didn't watch one of the eighty shows that you watched. So this is the Eli versus Peyton thing. Yes, Peyton was better. Fred is better, but Eli slash Ben won more Super Bowls. What I was gonna say though is <laughs> what? What? I, <laughs> Eli has more Super Bowls. Yes. He's got two. I thought. Oh, they're the same. That's yeah. Right. I forgot Peyton got that second one because the, the defense yeah. won it. Yeah. He didn't win it. So anyway, what I was gonna say is I was scrolling through and Sports. I came across this movie late. <laughs> Ready I came across this movie late at night, and it was uh, Candace Cameron and Fred Savage, and they're like high school sweethearts, and Fred Savage rapes her in that oh movie. Oh, my God. Awesome. And I was like, what am I watching? Because these are two people that... Uh, awesome. <laughs> well, well, I'm going to tell you... Did you, you find it? Uh, on IMDb, it has a 6.8 <laughs> stars. He found it. <laughs> What's it called, Tyler? Uh, no one would tell. <laughs> Pretty fucked, dude. I, t- I told you. Really, really fucked. <laughs> no one would tell. A shy high school student's seemingly perfect relationship with a popular jock quickly turns abusive and dangerous. Subtitle: yeah. It just happens. What's the? Uh, fucked, what year dude. did that come out? Ninety six. Yep. This is your brain. I remember seeing it and watching, like, but and then starting to watch it, and I'm like, "Oh, awesome!" This is your brain Deej. on drugs. It's Deej and uh, and Fred Savage, <laughs> Here's, and then uh, Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, no, Deej is fucking her, no and he's like, score. "Wendy, who?" Seventy two percent on the audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Seventy two percent. That's not bad on Rotten Tomatoes. I think it's just because they're thinking about fucking Can- Candace Cameron. Oh man, that's uh, gross. What I wouldn't give to get a hold of Kirk Cameron right now. Kirk, Kirk Cameron. Cameron. Mm, I don't want to be left behind. <laughs> that is her brother. He right? wants in that yes. behind. He's got super religious, so he's like yeah, yeah. he's basically the guy from Two and a Half Men, the kid from Two and a Half Men. Oh right, that kid went super religious. He's turned, did he really? Yes, he's turned into Kirk Cameron. That's the why he quit from, the show. That's why he quit the show. He quit the show. I never. I I have not watched legitimately. I've not watched a single episode of Join that show. the Marines. <clears throat> did he join the Marines? He is a crusader for Christ right now. He really is. You are kidding me. He no. quit the, I did not know any That's, of this. He quit I the show because he was he, someone converted him to Christianity. Wow. Yeah. That is so amazing when when religion gets its hooks in someone oh. and pulls them so far in the opposite know, direction. And I'm going to translate it to my social media and be an influencer. 
When you get my a hooks Christi- into people. A Christian influencer. Yes. Angus T. Jones. All right, tell us about him. Um, he was in C-Spot Run, too, with <laughs> David Arquette. Was he the one nice. in The Kid with Bruce Willis? He was, yeah. He was the same well, one. He was the Hollywood kid. He was, kid for he was a while. the uh, the the millennial Kali Culkin, or Haley Joel Osment. I like that. I, I like that pun. That's a good yeah, one. It's good. It, it makes sense. Millennial Kali Culkin. Yeah, because he was in everything. He was a huge star. His parents. I think you don't even realize that you made a joke because it's Macaulay Culkin. But I just thought you were rolling it into millennial Kali Culkin. It works on two levels, Tim. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't know. He didn't, no, he didn't. He didn't, he didn't know. Didn't. He didn't. He's, he's got, the, he's got he's like, the suspicious he's eyes. Got suspicious I'm a eyes going top point oh oh five percent influencer. Now you're just oh now you're just now mixing you're just, topics. Yeah, you're just uh, doing here's thing. what's weird about um, what's the doodle Angus. First of all, his name's Angus. Angus. That is. We got a highway to hell. Right. How many yeah. people are named Angus? Well, that's Brian Johnson, not Angus. Well, Angus, well, Angus plays Angus guitar. Plays well, guitar. Yeah, yeah. I mean. But he sings backup vocals and shit. Does he? Uh, he is a Seventh Day Adventist. Oh, those. Oh, are, oh yeah. I don't know about them. What's What's up with them? They are creepy. They it sound are the like they're very that, yeah. legalistic. Yeah, they are. They're like a cross between Jehovah's <clears throat> Witnesses and Church of Christ. Oh, they're like shit. right in that realm they're of ultra like crazy. Uber, yeah. Yeah, Nick, big time. Do you know of them? Uh, no, I know uh, when he left, he said that nobody should ever watch Two and a Half Men because <laughs> it is... Nobody give me money. Did he really? Is, oh, yeah. He said he was. <sighs> it was nothing but sin. He was well shed. Oh, it was nothing God. but sin, debauchery, and nobody should watch it. Um, he regrets ever doing it. I got infected with tiger blood. And then he said... <laughs> he, and, he, he joined the Marines... <laughs> And then uh, I've been killing up. S- Stop it! <laughs> said he would never do film and television ever again because it was a sin. Damn, yeah. man! That kid See, goes here's hard. A, they go Hold on. Hardcore. Here, well, here's the thing: when you go, let's just say, let's just you can't do heroin here. just a little bit. Can you know I, what I mean? I, right. But when you start the, but, doing, you start doing a little bit of God, you go down this fucking slippery right, slope. So, uh, no, yeah. that's the point that I'm that I was about to yeah. make is that if you it, like, if you look at people who. Let's just say that he had converted to Catholicism, right? He there's there's the likelihood oh, that he would find it easy road. Hold on, that he would find a middle ground and easy still be able to claim Christ and be like, you know what, I'm Hayden. I'm a Christian, but I but I right. still want to do movies and whatnot. When you go from one end of the spectrum all the way to Seventh Day Adventist or Jehovah's Witness or something, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you either stay there or there is a drastic swing backwards. Did later you know? On. Bieber is currently doing that shit. No, he's at that weird church. I thought he he's had, got that. I he's thought got he that let, hipster no, preacher. I, I read that, something that said he was retiring from music because of Jesus. He's at the Chris Pratt. Look church. it up. He's at Chris Pratt's church. Look it up. Where I it's where it's, Wait, basic, it's basically Scientology, but not yeah. Scientology. It's, it's, what? It's, it's, it's very, Scientology it's very much, with it's very Jesus. Much prosperity gospel type of plant so, a seed. Yeah. So, the so and then Sci- Scientology the plus Kardashians Jesus. Kardashians also go to go. It there. was famous oh. because they they will not and they preach against gay people. Yeah, and they're very anti LGBT. What? Yes. Star yeah, Lord they, hates they, gays. There's a preacher a while ago who said they should all be shot. What? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, You're not talking about. Different. Are you talking about Bieber's preacher, the guy, the hipster with the glasses, and that's like all I think so. jacked up I and think whatnot? So. Uh, well, well, maybe. I, I don't know. So. Can you imagine what it takes to be a popular Dude, preacher? I know in you LA? have to look up look up Bieber's preacher. Well, have you I, seen I this? know it was a controversy because Chris Pratt wouldn't. Well, they, this this he organization actually got like kicked out of australia or something yeah like well he wouldn't say um chris pratt wouldn't say hillsong, hillsong church that he didn't hate gay people it was a controversy so first of all this guy goes Wait, it was a controversy so, with his church so, okay so it it came out that ellen page who uh, um it's exhausting no, she came out she came yeah. out, but then um, she, she's exhausted. No, 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 it was no, no, like no. LGBTQ Chris, Day or Chris, something. Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt has been going religious for a while now, and like, well, no, that, that I'm just explaining. He's a the Midwest whole boy, so he he. Ellen yeah. Page said on Twitter, "Why do you go to this church when it openly hates gay people?" She called Chris Pratt out, and insta- oh, she called him out. Yeah, yes. it, so she's it, a hero. So instead of saying Chris, Chris Pratt said, um, like all she was asking was, "Hey." You, you just know don't, just go to another yeah, just go right. to another church. Right. This one's you know this one's fucked up, right? And he goes, uh, "It's what I believe in God," and blah 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 blah. Basically. So he responded back. 
He yeah. should have yeah. doubled like, down. He should have just he ignored doubled her. Doubled down and basically said they accepted me, and that's all I need. No, he he should have ignored her. Which is, you know what? I mean, <clears throat> I mean, believe, whatever. Believe in God if you want to, but it's don't, a waste of time. Don't according to Nick. fucking openly hate another group of people. Sure. Can we? Uh, Which I, I guess is Christianity, I, 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 we, whatever. I need I need us to go and back Muslims quickly. And I need Jews. to go back that's quickly right. to Seventh Day Adventists. Did yeah. you find something out? Well, Tell me about them. I don't know have, about them. They have some distinctive teachings, which include the unconscious state of the dead. What? What and, does that mean? Like vampires? And the doctrine of an investigative judgment. Listen, if they believe in what? vampires, I then I exactly may have to means, convert to Seventh Day Adventism. What's the denomination of Christianity where you speak in tongues all the time? Pentecostals, Pentecostal. Assembly of God. Yeah, uh, there's a few of them. Yeah. The uh, Church of God. That's You could probably Church do it at Hillsong if you wanted to, I'm sure. So the Church of God. So let me let me paint a picture here. If you've got the Church of I Christ. Last, I think last time we, uh, last Wednesday. Is, is this Wednesday night church instead of maybe Wednesday one night of it, yeah, um, I know. Bible lessons? Well, So look, the, if you've got the Church of Christ, no musical instruments. You've got Baptists, which are, a they have, they, the, the, difference, the difference between Baptists and Church of Christ is that they believe in everything except that Baptists use an organ, and they believe in the rapture. No, and that's pretty- no, no. Once they've always saved is a pretty tough contention between those two. Okay, that may be no- doctrinally that's pretty, that's pretty deep. Let's, let's, let's okay. No, let's stay. Let's stay superficial. So, the, so there's another thing. There is the lesser known Church of God, and then there's Assembly of God. And, Assembly and of God. There's the Church of Christ in God. Okay, oh, but what? But the lot. comparison. I, the comparison, I am completely hold on, hold on. lost. The comparison that I'm making. I have been genuinely Nick, trying Nick, to follow this. Nick, it's, a, heard, it's a bunch oh, of mumbo jumbo. It's hold on, hold on, hold on. It's like on. arguing what color the fish is in Dr. Seuss. Like it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Blue. So look, one fish, uh, two be. fish, red fish, blue fish. Is there a green fish? No. What red, I was going blue. to say, though, you know? is that the Church of God versus Assembly of God. Assembly of God is like the Jimmy Swagger. Do you know you remember Jimmy Swaggart? You ever heard this was the guy oh man, Jimmy Swaggart. I nodded no, I'm sorry. Jimmy Jimmy Swaggart was the guy <laughs> who who got in front of his congregation after being caught with prostitutes and he was like I have sinned against you, go oh God, my like, Lord, I like, have like, like four times. And he was <laughs> Many, many times. Five. I'm only asking for forgiveness for Does the one sound like time. Sound like my Japanese impression. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. he sounds like that. I have seen it many, many times yeah. against. Yeah. yeah, something yeah. like that. So anyway, Church of God is like the Church of Christ to Baptist to like Assembly of God because Church of God, what they do in church, they get up and they do the Wall of Jericho march where they like all in like the WWE. Ju- they all get they all get in a line and they do like the wall of Jericho. Which did we cover that with you? Do you remember the wall of Jer- did we cover the wall of Jericho? Uh, we now. haven't hit most of the Bible stories with Nick, but we I don't we think we've done coming. that one yet. But I'll put it on my list. For I next thought week. we did. It's, where, it's okay. Where they, I'm still living a rich, fulfilling life. Where they started. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to believe. Doubt it. <laughs> Although yeah. I put my foot down, I'm not watching two and a uh, half men. <laughs> <laughs> Angus really spoke to you. He spoke to me. Angus <laughs> Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Uh, uh, <laughs> guitarist from ACDC. I just trust. Yeah, I know. I was I, doing the Mike Jones joke. Oh. Mike Jones. Who? Mike Jones. Oh, I don't know who that is. Who is Mike Jones? You don't know Mike Jones? Oh, pff. <laughs> You're killing me, Smalls. That was a song. I know. Yeah, I know. Tim winked. We're That's not live streaming, so he didn't. Obvious wink. I need a dime. <laughs> That's top of the line. Yeah, that was a good song. Anyway, um, yeah, religion is wacky. Christianity is uh, the uber wacky. All the different religions and whatnot. We could do a. I we heard a guy the other day who actually said who he declared himself. I don't know if he was being a uh, troll or not, but he was debating a theist, someone who believed in the Christian God. And did he say suck my nuts? No. Okay. He checking. said that he was a panthe. No, he polytheist. Oh. He said he was a polytheist. What does all that God, even mean? All gods are cool. That means that. Well, so so the the theist tried to like nail him down. He's like, so how many gods do you believe in? He was like, well, I mean, I, I'm down for whatever. Like, just name one. And I'm he's cool. DTG he's DTG like, down to God. Yeah, he's like Odin. You know, uh, Vishnu. Oh my whatever. God. Oh, um, like, he was just like claiming them all. So he's very obviously trolling. He's, I'm pretty sure he was trolling. Yeah, I mean, look, was, look, pick a god. It was like, Dumb. Yeah, it's like pick one. It's fine. Like it doesn't matter. Like, I'm into Vishnu. Yeah. I like elephants. Shiva, actually, I think, is the cooler one. Well, whatever. That's just someone who doesn't have the balls to, like, 
to have a a, a stance on something. I it's think like he was being all, it's That's, like being agnostic. Well, it was a debate. So well, I'm I think agnostic. He was, I think he was being a butthead. <laughs> Agnostic's fine. That's it's, fine. It's I, don't, I don't fucking know. I just listen. Oh. Okay, here's where I'm coming from. You guys tell me these stories. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you guys Bible tell me your stories. life experiences with yeah. these stories yeah. and the amount of time you've put in. How much and pussy I see, we've got? And I see Christ, and absolutely no. outside of the pussy. I feel absolutely <laughs> no value in any amount of stuff that you um, told me. I will say there is some moral value. It's like reading, outside of the pussy. It's re, it's like reading Aesop's <laughs> Fables. You learn some morals based on the stories. You're fine. There's nothing wrong with no. a lot of the stories. Now, the ones where they throw prostitutes to the dogs like Jezebel, that one's fucked up. Maybe don't learn moral from what that. About, what about the one where the bears mauled all the children right, for, that's for mocking up. a bald but man? Like, where, where Jesus well, that one talking I learned, good that stuff. That one I learned something. <laughs> I mean, there's some lessons to be learned. There's probably lessons to be learned in the, uh, the Oh, Muslim you learned book. something, Bagabagita. Nick? Yeah. Then maybe that lesson should be stop mocking the bald men, or maybe yes. we'll stick a yes. couple she bears on your ass. I'm gonna light. Some I'm s- gonna stop mocking the bald men, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna light some squirrels on fire and send me your way, biblical or not. You know what? I think mocking the bald man is a pretty good euphemism for jacking off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you excuse me a minute, I have to go mock the bald man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like that. It's pretty uh, good. I gotta go mock the bald. Man. Mocking the bald man. That's what we should name this show. That's what you need to name this episode. Mocking the bald man. Like that's great. That's pretty fucking good. That is good. <laughs> I gotta go uh, mock the bald man my- and yeah. knock knock Jericho's walls down if you know what I mean. Oh man. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, you haven't been studied in the Bible yeah. like us. You I'm, haven't I'm good with that. You haven't besieged a pussy, Nick. That's <laughs> <laughs> Besieged. <laughs> that means raped. <laughs> oh, my oh my god. god. No, oh my that's god. not. Does that's it not? Does it not? No, Wait, what? no, I have no. not. Does it not? Tim, besieged just means you like hang out outside <laughs> yeah. until they give right. up. Raped. <laughs> no, you just hang out outside until they give up. Yeah. That's different. Right. Yeah, that's same just thing. Like, that's just gentle pressure. That's yeah. not. Right. <laughs> you've, you've not put sexual pressure on a coworker. Like oh my god. You're painting a scenario that wasn't there. You, Look, I hang out outside. I told her, hey, what's up? Started stroking my wiener. Next thing you know. Started mocking the bald man in front of her. <laughs> That's what Louis C.K. has been guilty of. This yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Ah, he's a, he's a hero. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, well, you know, whatever. Mocking the bald man. That's what we're naming this episode. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new one. Right. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna call the. Uh, that should be a T-shirt. I'm gonna hang I'm on gonna, to that one. That the, should be a T-shirt. I'm gonna call the trademark office tomorrow. Yeah, yeah we're done. That no one's stealing that one. <laughs> That's how we're making our fortune, guys. Mocking the bald man. We could do the, the we could do man. the T-shirts with the big bold letters that says like, "I listen to Epizootics of the Blowhole while I mock the bald man." What if we just had a bald you guy know? with a handlebar mustache and some of those barbells from like the 1800s? And it just said he was trying to deadlift. And but he's said, got a huge heart on and yeah. a singlet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And he's deadlifting. We're like mocking the bald man. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. I mean, um, I don't quite understand it. but I don't either. Okay. I think it, well, that's what the fancy lads do before they go out to drink. <laughs> we all mock the bald man. You got to mock the bald man before you go out to drink. We have literally not had one fancy lads meeting since we came up I with know, that idea. I know. We need to. Clint has uh, hinted around towards one. And uh, maybe Clint, maybe you can get Clint to organize it because we're too busy, obviously. What but, are we uh, going to do? Just show up and look stupid somewhere? No, we show pontificate up pontificate about. Look, <laughs> we show up wearing yes. smoking oh, okay. jackets. <laughs> okay, we That's show absolutely up, we, we what show, fancy lads yeah, do. We show up in smoking jackets, suspenders, and pocket squares. And I literally have a vape now, so like I'm going full no, fancy. You have to lad. get a pipe. You have to get. Yeah, a, you need a pipe, pipe to be a ba- to be a fancy lad. Vapes. Pipe vape or nothing. Yep. I'll take a piece of wood and like I'll make. If a you had a vape that like, looked like a pipe, I'd be fine. How are you gonna do that it. again? Like, Show me how you're gonna do that. I'll just the slide hand it in there. And oh, you just slam it in there. Yeah, the hand gesture. Like that. Well, and it'll Does all it come bend out. up. Or well, I'll it, make it, a valve it, it, it looks, so that when I exhale, <laughs> it'll go through there, and then it'll all like. It come looks out. like how Tyler operates his cum spit valve. From what? Few, from a few episodes ago. <laughs> no, that was in the chat. That was in the chat. You made that joke today. No, no, we said it on the podcast. Yeah, it was on the podcast. Did we? Yes. About what? I don't remember. Uh, the 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 retrograde ejaculation yes. valve. Oh, and he said yeah. there was a cum spit valve. See, we got the callbacks. So they don't. Yeah. 
I'm no, paying anyways. attention. Hey guys, Whatever. we about done it anyways. It's 34 minutes in. You guys had enough of us, right? Yeah. You guys, yeah. It, well, I guess it's Wednesday. Do you guys mock the bald man on Wednesday or do you wait till the weekend? <laughs> yeah. You mock the bald man on Wednesday that gets you through to the weekend yeah. when you can guys, actually. Guys, I'm a seventh day Adventist, so I do not mock the bald man on a Wednesday. Let us know. I wait, wait, wait until, until Saturday. Day. Yes. Let, yeah. let us, the Sabbath. Let us I keep know the Sabbath schedule. holy by You're, mocking the bald man. You go totally Adventist yeah. on Saturday. <laughs> we want to know your schedule. Let us know when you mock the bald man on our webpage. Thank you guys. Thanks for listening. Look yep. at local magazine. Look at physics pit stop, I guess. And uh, look at um, death metal dicks. Um, and like, share, and subscribe us. Thank you. Later. <laughs>